Learn that from. There was classified data embedded in that hand. It appears that man underwent modification at the Patriot facility, just as you did. your status. I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. It is simple, really. So simple that I can continue to monitor your status and world marshal security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. Quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permissions to override their plans. Nevertheless, the data I did find should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think of the data! The research! Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. I trust you do not mind my telling George about you, Raiden. Could have done without that, Doc. He didn't need to know I was here. Well, there was no reason to conceal that from him. My intention was not to impugn you. He has a right to know. It's not as if he can simply fly over there and meddle in your affairs. It's throwing off my emotional balance, Doc. Things like that can negatively impact the mission, you know? However do you mean? You did the right thing, did you not? There's nothing to be ashamed of. <sighs> George has the best body we can give him right now. And the rest of the children are also safe. And quite content too, I should add. It was your quick decision-making that saved them, right? George's body will require regular maintenance, not to mention a replacement upon reaching adult age. But the expense is more than worth it. You planning on signing him up with a PMC? Because that's the only job we're good for, far as I can tell. Oh, you are quite mistaken there. Just consider it. The power of a machine matched with the nimbleness and creativity of a human. The construction and public works possibilities alone are endless. I saw a news piece on German TV just the other day about a cyborg plumber, in fact. Let's not forget about elder care, either. One needs great strength to bathe and care for the bedridden. But it's also very delicate work, if you follow. Not the sort of thing you'd leave to a machine. Sounds great. So long as we don't start replacing the old folks' bodies, too. Just because they're old. <laughs> a valid concern, yes. I recall reading a comic like that once. An old farmer created a cybernetic body to fight- Uh, yeah. But can't George do anything besides physical labor, though? 
Oh, he has every right to choose another path. If he opts not to take advantage of his body's physical strength, he's free to pursue academia instead. His body provides a completely ideal chemical environment for his brain, after all. I can certainly see how that would prove handy in the realm of higher education. The only problem would be how to cover the costs. The issue of student loan debt in the US is thorny enough already, even for normal students. Yeah. All this stuff's not just George's problem, though. All the other brains I'm gonna rescue will have to deal with it, too. Giving them bodies won't be the end of their problems. It'll be the beginning. Indeed. On a happier note, though, excellent work in bringing George's lower body back. Now he'll very likely be able to produce children in the future. Bravo! Your earlier actions were reckless, Raiden. Not to mention the damage to a perfectly good car. I knew the risks when I decided to go through with this. Besides, the car was mine. Maverick sold it to me. It's not meant for private use. It was made for ops like this. Regardless, your approach has proven most antagonistic. You are now a criminal, a public enemy, a police-killing vigilante. Even if your actions reveal World Marshal's designs, you will be unable to avoid legal punishment. Probably not. But that's a price I'll have to pay. I gotta stop that VR program and get those kids back. I sealed my fate the second I attacked George. But George is not dead. In fact, he has obtained an even more versatile body than his previous one. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about me. I was a child soldier in Liberia, like Miss Troll said. I was a mentally deranged child. People feared me, called me Jack the Ripper. A result of the so-called Sears program. I thought I'd left it all in the past. But just like that, Jack came roaring back. This is why you are so driven to terminate the VR training. I... I understand. I will continue to cooperate. Copy that. Sending backup. <laughs> 